from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. We are back with a Kroger grocery haul, a very different meal plan, and two new questions of the day, so be sure to stick around. By the way, if you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. This is an unusual week. With the holiday, we're gonna do some quick meals and then a fairly small Thanksgiving, but I will show you the Kroger haul. Be sure to stick around for the meal plan and the question at the end. Have a wonderful and blessed day, y'all. We are back from Kroger. We had a larger than normal haul with the holiday coming up. I also bought a fair amount of canned things to resupply my pantry from some items that I cooked last week. As always, I will try to have most of the prices below. Start off with the cold stuff. I got some orange juice, some butter that was on sale for $2.99, a couple packages of sliced cheese. There's some provolone and some Colby Jack. Regular bread for sandwiches and then some of this artisano for turkey sandwiches. The night of Thanksgiving, I had a coupon that saved a dollar twenty, dollar twenty-five. So I got some more K cups. Those were also on sale. I think the final price ended up being about three or three fifty. Some flour for baking, some chicken broth for recipes. I also needed some quinoa. Grab some taco seasoning. I needed chopped broccoli from the freezer section. I searched for about five minutes, couldn't find any, so I will chop my own from these broccoli cuts. Some marshmallows for cocoa, some cranberry juice, I like to mix it with Sprite, a couple of Cokes for Tim, a whole lot of canned goods for the pantry, corn, olives, chicken noodle soup, chickpeas, pinto beans, diced tomatoes, Rotel tomatoes, the cream of mushroom soup is for the broccoli casserole that goes with that, and also some chili powder for making chili all winter. This is my box of free Cheerios from our cereal, big cereal giveaway win. Also got some mayonnaise, two bags of chips, very little in the way of produce, a whole bunch of sweet potatoes. They were on a really great price this week. I won't use all these for sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving, but they were 33 cents a pound, so I got a couple extra. Some cranberries hiding back there, some mushrooms and carrots for salad, onions to cook with, the Grillmate seasoning was the Free Friday download. Unfortunately, they were out of the Montreal chicken that I wanted, and all they had left was the Montreal steak, which I prefer a salt free, but free is free, so I will take that. So that is our pre-Thanksgiving, as low as I can get it, grocery haul. I'll show you the meal plan. It's gonna be quick this week and a small Thanksgiving, but we've got a meal plan for you next. The menu for this week, y'all, is extremely up in the air. Rather than filling out my normal meal plan for the week. I've just got some ideas. This week is all about planning, shuffling, cleaning out the refrigerator, getting ready for Thanksgiving and the turkey. So I've just jotted down some ideas. I have no idea which one of these I'll make. If any, we may have sandwiches every night this week. But some ideas I've got are I may make some chicken salad. I've got stuff to make pigs in a blanket, another batch of nachos. I've got some couple of frozen pizzas in the freezer and we can always have that or with salad or grilled chicken salad. I did jot down my crock pot chicken Santa Fe because I always have those ingredients on hand but I don't think I will make that because it will create leftovers and I need the fridge space at the moment. I've got stuff to make a Frito pie using canned chili which is not the best but it works and it also cleans out something from my pantry and I've also got canned tomato soup and stuff for grilled cheese. So we will do some of that first couple of nights and then we will be all about Thanksgiving and the leftovers. Ours, as we've talked about before, is uber traditional. We will smoke, Tim will smoke a big turkey. I'm going to fix a broccoli cheese casserole. I'm going to fix a sweet potato casserole. My sisters are bringing green bean bundles, a big pan of cornbread dressing, some rolls, cranberry sauces, and I'm going to make either a pie or a cobbler and I've got uh, my niece is bringing a pie. We may have another one. We are hopefully going to be blessed with some extra family members that I didn't know about. Things are kind of evolving and we are so excited that we might get to see them. So we might have a little bit bigger Thanksgiving than I thought, but either way, whoever's here, we will be very well fed, very happy to be, get, be together and very blessed to have Thanksgiving this year. So for those of you in the US, I hope you do have a great Thanksgiving. Stick around, I've got two Thanksgiving themed questions for you next. This week we had a question lined up, the last of the Thanksgiving themed questions, and then I had a great suggestion from Mary Rayvon, so thank you Mary. We've got two questions, pick and choose, you can answer either or both, and we'd love to hear your answers. Our question was, we asked what your meats were, 
what kind of meat you've had at Thanksgiving and then about your favorite dessert. So this week, what we wanna talk about are the sides. I know it varies wildly from family to family and region to region. So what's your favorite or something you really look forward to having as a side dish to your main course on Thanksgiving? For us, traditional as our family, is broccoli cheese casserole and a sweet potato casserole. So those would be my two picks. And Mary had a wonderful question. I didn't want to wait till next week to answer it. To answer it. I didn't want to wait until next week to ask this question. Mary would like to know, and so would we. What do you do with your Thanksgiving leftovers? Do you enjoy a ham or turkey sandwich? Do you take them and make a soup or a casserole out of them? What's your favorite way or something fun or different or creative that you do with the leftovers that you have left? Or if you don't have anything left, what is something you wish you had left that you could make a dish out of? So leave us um, one or both answers to the questions. And as always, thanks so much for stopping by our channel. Hope you have a wonderful, a blessed day, and a fantastic Thanksgiving for those of you in the U.S. Bye, y'all.